My garage is my happy place. A garage is a space with endless possibilities. There's definitely some really cool garages out there. People are saying, where are you going to put the cars? That's like nauseating to me, putting a car in here. Neighbors come in and just be like, oh my god, I didn't realize this is what you do in here. This is amazing. I can build it exactly how I want to. I grew up with a garage gym. My dad had a garage gym. It was something that we spent a ton of time in. I remember seeing him and like his love for the garage and training there. And I remember as a kid thinking, I always want that when I get older and I wanted to do my dad one better. And so I built my garage gym. My name is Cooper Mitchell. Many people on the internet know me as Coop and I run Garage Gym Reviews where we review gym equipment. So I love products. Any type of products, like everything I have in my house that I wear, I'm like, I know exactly the brand, I know who made it, I know the story behind it. When I was starting to like build my home gym, this was a decade ago, I was looking online like, all right, home gym reviews, and there was nothing out there. It was like, nobody was talking about this. It was still kind of an underground thing. And because of that, I was like, well, I could maybe, you know, write a review on a product that I've got and maybe other people would find benefit from it. And so I just started writing reviews and I actually did it under a pseudonym, Coop, because I didn't want people to really know who I was in real life. And so I just started doing product reviews. Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. And today I want to give you some advice. Building a home gym is a labor of love. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of energy. It's very freaking fun. It's the reason I'm constantly moving. Garage Gym Reviews is designed to help people build home gyms. So we do that through a few different ways. One is just in-depth product reviews. And we provide honest, at-length reviews on everything fitness related from treadmills to barbells. In addition to that, we try to inspire people by doing walkthroughs of gyms and check out their gyms. We do DIY guides where we help people build gym equipment if they can't afford it. The entire idea is how can we get people moving more by inspiring them to have different equipment and build a gym at their home so they can train whenever they want. The fact that these products are so beneficial and functional and useful to your life, I think that's really why I like reviewing products because I can give my critiques and actually influence the way the industry moves. There are many of you that are sitting on the fence right now trying to decide, should I continue to make my life less enjoyable by having a gym membership, driving to the gym, paying for the gym, waiting for the squat rack? The home gym is a place where you can go into, away from everything else, give it everything you've got, train hard, not only have like this voluntary hardship that affects your body, but also your mind, and then use that positive influence that comes out of that into the rest of your life. Having that positive influence, I think gives me purpose, and because I have that purpose, I want to do it well, I want to do it with integrity, and I want to have intensity when I do it. When I started, it was just me, and so I was everything from the janitor to the guy in front of the camera to the guy behind the camera to the guy editing the videos on the camera. I did everything. However, we now have a full suited team. So here right now, I have Sam, Mike, and Nathan, who are some of my best buddies that we film videos pretty much every day, and we're editing videos, coming up with content. We're here in the garage gym, here to review some garage gym equipment. The review we have for you today is quite special. My name's Nathan. I am the video producer for Garage Gym Reviews. I'm Sam. I'm the production manager for Garage Gym Reviews. We're always ripping on each other. Sam does kind of get the brunt of that, <laughs> I would say. I mean, if you've seen even a handful of videos, you know that's the case. Like, um, But he takes it so well, it's just like, you just want to see how far you can push it almost. So we haven't found the bottom yet, <laughs> but uh, maybe someday. I just caught him in a moment of like contemplation. <laughs> We have to do one more U-turn. I'm literally gonna be dizzy. I'm gonna have to throw up. And if you call the freaking GPS GP Susie one more time, I'm gonna hit you with that brick of a phone and knock you out. They stink. Sam, do they stink? Oh shoot, Sam, gosh dang it. 
Thankfully, I can close my garage door. Poor Sam. <laughs> no, go away, Sam. I don't even have to worry about it. I can just sit back. I'm big into tech, which includes smart homes. I've got everything that you can think of inside the house. And so I wanted that out in the garage because I do spend a lot of time out here. I can access and see everything that's going on in my garage. I can also open it and close it. I can access it remotely. If I forget to close the door because we're constantly opening and closing them. I can see everything that's going on and it just works. I think the biggest thing is seamless. This garage did not look like this when we moved in, as you'd probably assume. It was uh, pretty crappy. We repainted, reinstalled wood on the walls, just tried to make it like an inviting space. One, because it's technically a studio, but two, because I want it to be an inviting place that I want to spend more time in. So why not make it a place that I really enjoy? So that includes changing out the entire lighting, the flooring, the walls, like you name it, we've done it. When people go to build a home gym, I don't think they're thinking of like the lighting, the wall color, the sound. They're thinking just of the equipment. The ultimate goal is like to make a space you want to spend time in and that makes you want to train. You want to use your gym more. You want to reduce as much friction as possible to get you out to the gym to use it more. I come out here to work hard. I come out here to craft my mind and body. I come out here kind of as a sanctum, separate from everything and everywhere else. There's so many different types of things that can happen in the garage. The biggest thing is like figuring out your passion, and that passion will probably fit somewhere into the garage. 